Hey, hi, Sue Moore here, and today I have five ways for you to help your teen with acne. So here we go. Most of this, in fact, all of this information um, I received, I looked up at the American Academy of Dermatology. It's online. You can go look it up for yourself if you'd like. But I thought this was so um, uh, timely because we're coming into a very uh, stressful time with prom around the corner, graduations, and those kinds of things. And so I wanted to share with you um, a few things. You know, it, part of the teenage years are just as you get out of elementary school and get into middle school and high school and so forth, all of a sudden, what never was important to you, i.e. your appearance, uh, becomes very important. And Sadly, 85% of all teens will eventually have some sort of acne. So um, I found these five tips to be very rare. I've never heard some of this information, so I really thought it was important to share. And I'm going to look at my notes because I don't have this all committed to memory. But the very first thing is, is to take acne seriously. Telling your child that uh, it'll eventually go away and not to worry about it and so forth can be more harmful to them than not because according to the American Academy of Dermatology, a third of teens say that um, acne made them feel very self-conscious and one out of eight teens said that they would avoid looking at themselves in the mirror because they were embarrassed. So. Um, Take it seriously. And in other words, don't blow it off and say, oh, it'll go away, okay? Can't do that. All right, so um, along with that is the other part that comes up. Hey, Sherry Smith, how are you? Nice to see you. Um, kids who have acne, when you get into the, old, the upper grades, eight, nine, 10, and so forth, can be bullied. Their friends might call them names like pizza face or crater face or say, go wash your face, or, you know, they're just cruel, mean, and heartless to kids. and and anybody would, but um, teenagers in particular take those words to heart. And in some way, shape, or form, my glasses keep falling on my lap, um, in some way, shape, or form, uh, those things hide in the crevices of their, of their being. And it takes a long time to clear that uh, what was not true about who they are and what they look like, to clear that out of their mindset. So. Um, I, okay, now the flip side to that is studies also show that when acne is cleared up, self-esteem rises. So, I mean, that should be a no-brainer, but that's what the studies say. So, okay, now, so that's the first thing. Take um, acne serious. Second thing is be cautious about reminding your teen to use the treatment. And um, obviously, <laughs> if you're gonna use anything to help clear the skin, you have to use it. And um, you know, I, I'm in the skincare uh, industry, just kind of a sidebar here, and people say, well, you know, I didn't see any difference in it. So well, were you using it according to directions? Well, no. Duh, what do you expect, okay? So um, a, a, a small study uh, of dermatologists found that <laughs> When parents reminded their teen to make sure they use their treatment every day, the teen just internalized that as, they're nagging me, and I don't want to be nagged, and so therefore I'm going to show them, that kind of thing, okay? So here's a tip, and this I got from a friend of mine who's been in the, um, in the uh, she's a PA, she's been in that industry for a long time, and this is what they used to do in her practice, and I thought it was brilliant, and that is this write down what the treat, what the routine is, okay? And give it to your teen and have them tape it or somehow attach it to the mirror in their bathroom and leave it. It's theirs then. When they do that, they take whatever you've given them and they tape it to the mirror. It's theirs. They don't have to be reminded by the mom or the dad. They know it's there, they're seeing it all the time. And so hopefully, with that reminder, knowing that it's their decision, um, they can decide whether they're gonna use it or not. So I thought that was really, really uh, important. I guess the bottom line to that is the fewer reminders that the parents try to give to the teen, the better. 
So that's that. Number three um, is try to reduce stress. Everything can be stressful to, you know, when you're new in, if you're in ninth grade or 10th grade or 11th grade, if you've never been to a prom, if you've never been to a homecoming, if you've never been anywhere where there is a certain social, um, not pressure, but social genre of, um, you know, I'm gonna be with this group or am I gonna go out with that girl or go out with that boy? All of that is very, very stressful. And as I said, I think the other day when I was doing uh, a live on acne, uh, right now with prom being four to five weeks or six weeks out, the girls, I know, I don't know about the boys, but the girls I'm sure are beginning to be more stressed than they normally are. Like, will so-and-so ask me? Or should I ask so-and-so? But if I ask so-and-so, and he says no, then what? So the stress is building. So to the extent the family unit, whatever that is, can reduce the level of stress, the better. Okay, so that's number three. Number four is to uh, watch for signs of depression. And uh, as much as we hate to uh, think that our children would be depressed, um, it, it, it can happen just because of the acne. And it does, it says here it can have a devastating effect on someone's life, and I think we've kind of touched on that already. Um, so a couple things to look out for. If sadness uh, seems to last for two weeks or longer, there's something there. Uh, loss of interest in activities that they used to enjoy doing. I think that's a, that's a red flag. We need to investigate that a little bit. And then the last one would be uh, uh, a tendency to avoid social activities, even with people their own age. So, um, and if those kinds of behaviors uh, are being displayed in your house, it might be time to uh, take them to a dermatologist and see what can happen. Now, another sidebar here, uh, the last statistics I saw were that there are about 10,000 dermatologists in the United States. And with 330 million people, uh, you know, do the math on that, and a lot of people uh, either don't have the wherewithal, they never thought about going to a dermatologist, but if they have thought about it, maybe they can't get in because the numbers are just unbelievable. So all of that to say, um, I represent a company that just brought out a brand new uh, acne treatment for uh, preteens, teens, and young adults, and it's only two products. And if you'd like more information on that, I'll be happy to send it to you. But what's more important here in, the, in this video is uh, just having uh, an understanding of the self-esteem, the whole idea of who we are and how we see each other, how important it is at this stage of life. So that's that one. And then lastly, and I think this is really good too, and that is if you are taking your child to a doctor or to a dermatologist or to some third party that is helping them with their acne, if you're not already, you might... Um, consider letting them speak with that medical professional by themselves without you being in the room. And I know sometimes, um, and this applies to many, many things in life, where um, I know my, my kids, my oldest daughter, love to talk to my mom and my sister more than talking to me. Um, and I don't take offense to that. Um, and I'm, hopefully it was very helpful to her, beneficial to her. Um, but when you are talking about you know something on your face and and your your self-esteem is already kind of not where it really should be sometimes it's very very helpful to talk to somebody who a understands b has the power to do something about it and c is willing to keep your confidence and so forth so a uh, very very important idea so that's what it is. Let me go back and recap. First of all, take acne very seriously. Um, um, be cautious about how often you are telling your child to use their, their treatment or whatever it is. Try to reduce the stress. Uh, watch for signs of depression. And let your, let your teen um, visit with a dermatologist or some uh, medical professional by themselves. Those Hopefully those tips will help. One final word, and um, I thought this was really interesting. Again, it's from the American Academy of Dermatology. 
And it says a, a study showed that 68% of parents believe that they are supportive and understanding regarding their teenage, their teenager and their acne, while only 48% of the teens agreed. That's a big gap, 68, 48%. So just a heads up, uh, I do hope you got some value uh, out of this uh, little tutorial. And if you did, if you would please like and share. If you are open to learning what it is that our company has just brought out uh, for uh, preteens, teens, and young adults, would love to share it with you. Uh, it, they will see results in day, on day one. So thanks so much for listening. I'll look forward to speaking with you later. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye.